Let me guess. You are tech enthusiasts and the moment you saw bad news based on one Twitter post, you went completely crazy. Butterfly keyboard again? Is it possible? It can't be. Apple wouldn't do that to us. <laughs> well, yeah. While I am an Apple fanboy, there are many decisions from Cupertino that I personally would not support. However, in this specific case, I might give it a go. Hear me out, because I'm going to share with you three main reasons why Apple can release their 12-inch MacBook with butterfly switch mechanism, and also why that might not be such a bad thing after all. Right after intro. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome to Digital Marketing Channel. My name is Marco and this is your weekly fix of tech news, leaks, rumors and opinions. Everything about Apple and their competitors. If you're a fan of this type of content, hit the like button, please subscribe and don't forget notification bell so you don't miss the next video. So you've seen leaked information. Apple's 12-inch MacBook, powered by their in-house built CPU, will bring back in famous butterfly switch keyboard. Oh. Well, here are three reasons why Apple can make that call. Reason number one, four generation butterfly keyboard was proven to be less prone to issues than all of its predecessors. Even if it was included as part of keyboard replacement program, MacBooks with fourth generation keyboard weren't put to the wall of shame like the ones in previous generations. Frankly, one of the most common issues of fourth generation was key travel or, to be precise, lack of such. Sticky keys or non-responsive keys weren't. For example, my 13-inch MacBook Pro from 2019 I'm using for half of the year and still have no issues. Initially, I did use keyboard cover, but that was just one month, one, one month, one month and a half. So you get the picture. Second, reason number two. If we just analyze iPad Pro processor, Apple Silicon, even while performing the most demanding tasks, remains dead cold. I will remind you that beside the dust and everything else that could end up stuck under the keycaps, the main potential cause of failure could be heat. And for example, the reason why E, R and T keys become jammed on so many machines is they were closest to the CPU, so they didn't get enough cooling. If that was correct with first three generations, and if we include overall experience with iPad Pros, which by the way I use daily, we can expect that Apple's anticipated A14X chip will not heat up that much, even with passive cooling. And let's be honest, I really, really don't think that the upcoming 12-inch MacBook will be the workhorse of choice for graphics and video editing professionals, but mainly for students, average users who surf the web, watch the movies, write documents and spreadsheets, eventually business users who prefer mobility and that use their laptops for some easy on-to-go tasks. The third and final reason why I believe that Apple is not hesitant to once again include their butterfly keyboard is that they had extra time to make final adjustments to the mechanism and also sufficient users feedback. So with that in mind, folks from Apple can be confident enough to give one more shot to butterfly switch mechanism. And to be honest, coming from my personal experience, Butterfly switch in this specific MacBook could be quite an interesting thing, but let's see. And what's your opinion about potentially turn of butterfly keyboard in the upcoming 12 inch MacBook? Would you go for it? Please answer in the comment below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and once again, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching Digital Marketing Channel. Talk to you soon. Have an excellent day. Bye.